Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. If you guys haven't already seen, I did the Community VPN Awards here on my channel where you guys voted for your favorite, worst, and underrated VPN options. If you haven't seen that video, go check that one out on the channel. However, this video is going to be my VPN Awards for 2021 and I'm going to be kind of bookmarking this on the website for people going forward until the end of next year. So it's probably going to be the best kind of resource for people um, trying to figure out exactly which VPN they should use for their spe specific use case scenario. So let's go ahead and get into the awards. First up for the best overall VPN award, we're going to be giving that to TorGuard. Now TorGuard I think is the best product overall for most people here on the channel. Its main plan is super cheap at around $5 a month or $30 a year. This gives you tons of connections, around 10 I think. Um, it has Sox5 proxy, excellent for torrenting, excellent for anonymity and privacy overall, excellent for really good speeds, just general usability. And it's super consistent, not buggy at all. Like I said, that price point is just killer. Just remember to use code TOMSPARK to get that deal. So the combination of pricing, reliability, and overall excellence there is just why it's overall the best VPN overall. It also has that streaming component with a streaming bundle that's super reliable. You can use code Netflix for that. It's a little bit more pricey, but you get two unique streaming IPs. TorGuard also has private email and VPN routers as well. And their encrypted email service is actually really, really good. I like it and C Templar the best among the private encrypted email providers out there. However, private mail has actually been around for quite some time and it's very reliable and trustworthy and consistent just like TorGuard itself, which is one of the most important things we look for in a VPN. It's also top of the tier list, so that automatically gives it the best fundamental score of all the VPNs. Next up, we want to talk about the best VPN for streaming overall, and I'm going to be giving that to WeVPN. WeVPN has did a really good job this year um, unblocking streaming services, and I think it's one of the best ones to use if you're looking for more flexibility. If you use code TomSpark, you could get it for pretty cheap. Um, two years is only around, it's going to be around $56, and that's going to give you um, 10 simultaneous connections, um, DNS solution to unblock streaming, and it's really cool there. You're going to be able to unblock a lot of different locations, a little bit more than TorGuard, um, sometimes there is downtime, but not too bad, especially since it has good support and a Discord server where you could talk and get updates on streaming servers. And they also have a little bit of extras too, like Wii Alert, which is like a little data monitoring feature to make sure you don't have any breached emails. So I think Wii VPN does really well here for streaming. And most people I've been recommending it for streaming really do like it this year. And it's going to be a strong contender going forward for a streaming provider VPN. Next up, we want to talk about what is my best, you know, let's say private and anonymous VPN. And I'm actually going to be giving that award to hide.me. Now, hide.me does well here because of a couple things. Number one, it doesn't really have any ad trackers on its website. It doesn't have any ad trackers on Android. And it's one of the VPNs on my tier list that was publicly audited. It was publicly audited in 2015 by a really respected auditor, Leon Georic or something like that. And it was probably one of the first VPNs to ever be audited in and of itself, which is really cool. And a lot of VPNs kind of started copying the trend after that. The people who run this VPN are very friendly, super transparent, and the privacy and anonymity here is just top notch. They have tons of anti-censorship solutions, WireGuard, cool things like multi-hop and stuff like that all included within. If you look at something like iVPN, it's cool because it's pretty private and anonymous and stuff like that and audited, um, but it does upcharge you on things like multi-hop. So I do like Hide.me for having all those things that you need for privacy and anonymity at a very respectable price. In fact, right now they're running a Christmas deal, which you'll be able to find in the description down below and in the pinned comment too. So if you're interested in that, check that out. Or if it's not Christmas anymore and you're still looking at this video, check the link still for the best possible deal you can get on this one. Excellent VPN. Next up, we're actually going to be talking about the best VPN application. And I'm actually be giving that to private internet access. Private internet access in a lot of ways is not as popular or as respected as it used to be since it did sell out to Cape. However, that said, its application is still fundamentally, I think, the best one out there. It just simply ticks all the boxes. It has split tunneling, tons of DNS controls, everything you probably could ever want in terms of kill switches, and overall, the look and feel of it is just top-notch, 
and it's just gotten better and better over the years and it pretty much is the only vpn to have 100 percent perfection in my tier list it's an excellent application a marvel of engineering and definitely one of the best vpn applications out there so if you really want the best vpn application this one is a go-to although it does kind of fall flat in some other areas like i mentioned it's it's reputation and some of the streaming services don't work that well either with it but overall it's a really good application and that's why it won this award next up we can talk about best customer service and i was either going to give this to torgar.net or private vpn private vpn is kind of known for their customer service but in my experience torguard is just a little bit faster with their support tickets torguard support tickets are probably the fastest in the industry now i've mentioned that in a couple of videos and you have probably experienced it if you've ever tried to contact torguard support Quite simply put, they have one of the fastest and most responsive customer support teams out there. Um, so they do really well there. If you want customer support, customer detail and attention to your um, help, they are the one to go to. However, that said, private VPN is also very good. Um, some other notable mentions here would also be something like Cactus VPN. They have really good customer support too. So yeah. Next up, let's talk about my favorite free VPN provider. Hide.me does have a free trial system and a free kind of VPN service that you can try out their VPN. It's a little tricky for me sometimes to find it, but it does have some option. I think if you download it, you could get a trial or something like that. It should be able to give you some free trial ability. And I do think it makes it the best um, service overall for people looking to try out a free VPN. As you can see here, there is a free option there. I found it, so you just sign up and it does have limitations. But overall, my favorite free VPN provider. I don't really like Winscribe anymore. I don't really like Proton. I don't really like TunnelBear. This is the one to go to in my opinion. And it has the best overall service once you upgrade out of the free VPN plan. Next up, we can talk about the best newcomer. And I'm going to be giving that to WeVPN. Now, WeVPN was only really uh, released around a year and a half ago or something like that. And since then, they've done really well. They're ranked two on my tier list for that excellent stream compatibility, affordable pricing, good speeds, and intuitive application. It's quite simply put, it's just a very well-rounded VPN. And for how long it's been here, to do this well is very impressive. That's why it's the best newcomer overall, in my opinion. So guys, I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, some VPNs were repeats in certain categories, but I hope it makes sense why. And I did give some notable shout outs to some other VPNs too in those categories. If you wanna help support the channel and purchase any of these VPNs, click on the links down in the description or pin comment below, and that'll help support the channel. I'll see you next year in 2022, doing another roundup of my favorite VPNs of that year. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel, and I'll see you again very soon.